<clears throat> now, I fully acknowledge, fully accept that I could be buying into something that has absolutely no shot of happening at all. I totally understand and get that myself and many others are getting caught up in kind of the fantasy booking emotions of the moment and being very disconnected from reality. I understand that we might be leaping and jumping to our own conclusions here when it comes to The Rock. Yeah, I get it. Like, we've seen him over the years. Just because he comes back and makes one appearance doesn't mean he's going to make several. Doesn't mean automatically that he's going to come back and work a program or anything like that. But allow me to run away with it for just a moment. Smackdown, last Friday, The Rock comes back, and that place goes batshit. Social media, the internet, goes batshit. And so many things about it felt great, felt awesome, felt right. And I can't. I can't. Especially, I've, I've felt this way for a long time, but... Especially now? There is no way in fucking hell that anybody could tell me that Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns is the money match for WrestleMania 40. Finish the story, finish the story, finish the story. The Rock versus Roman Reigns is the fucking story. That's the money match. That's the match that feels WrestleMania worthy. And there's a lot of reasons for this. To that whole notion of Cody Rhodes and the finish the story. What exactly fucking story is there between him and Roman? Okay, they worked last year at WrestleMania, night two main event together. Whoopie shit. That's not a very compelling reason to me automatically from the jump. To say that these two guys need to work another WrestleMania program in 2024. It sure the fuck isn't. Where else is the story here? If Cody Rhodes was just obsessed on his own. With wanting to win that WWE World Championship. And he was willing to sell out and do whatever it took to get there. That could be a story and a potentially interesting one. But that's not what he's trying to portray this story as. It doesn't make any fucking sense when you talk about finish the story. What's the story? Your daddy once worked for Vince back in the late 80s, early 90s, made a shit ton of money, but he never won the WWF championship? The dude was one of the biggest stars of wrestling history and a three-time NWA World Heavyweight Champion when that shit meant something. I think Dusty's just fine that he never won a WWF championship. Oh, his half-brother didn't win it? Like his half brother's fine. He had a hell of a career, long run, made a lot of money in wrestling. That's not a very compelling reason. They're descendant from wrestling families. Okay? And what's your fucking point? Which then brings me to the story that actually is compelling, that actually is interesting. The Rock and Roman Reigns are literally family. So if you want to talk about wrestling family versus wrestling family, how about some internal strife within the Samoan wrestling family? It's a much more from jump interesting and compelling story than anything that Cody Rhodes could offer. No offense to him. You've already seen some of the interesting things over the past few years that Roman's been able to do with other family members like his cousins Jay and Jimmy. Why in the fuck would you think that it couldn't be that same level or more working with one of the biggest stars in Hollywood and one of the biggest stars by far in the history of professional wrestling. But there's so many other layers to this. The Rock was one of the biggest stars in one of the hottest periods of professional wrestling history. Here's his cousin Roman Reigns, who's the biggest star, he is the biggest star in modern wrestling today. Two top guys, you've got era versus era. You've got two guys that present themselves as these badass type of presences. Like so many things about this. 
just fucking work. You could talk about the fact that Roman chugged along and was part of one of the Fast and Furious movies that The Rock was in. Like, I could go on and on. And oh, by the way, when you talk about WrestleMania 40 next year, where is that going to be at? I believe it's in Philadelphia, right? He. Where does that matter for Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns? It absolutely fucking does it. But where does that matter for Roman Reigns and The Rock? Going back to what was that Royal Rumble 2015, was it? I could be getting twisted on my ears here. But last I remember, The Rock came out because they're like, we got to try and get Roman to not get crucified by this Philly crowd. Rock comes out and Roman wins the Rumble and everybody's pissed. And that memorable scene of Rome, Rock holding his hand up and going like this and being like, God, this fucking sucked. This is terrible. Now, nine years later, you could come back and tell all types of layers involving that story, but you're telling me that Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns is a more compelling, more interesting story? The fuck you say? If your worry is that Cody Rhodes is hurt by not getting that fucking title from Roman, then maybe he doesn't need the title from Roman after all. Furthermore, if we're going to talk about as long as Roman's had this goddamn title, if anybody should beat him, it should be the next guy. Cody Rhodes is only a couple years younger than me. I think he's about the same age as Roman. He's not that next guy for a long period of time. So that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Additionally, if you want to talk about what would be the most interesting or best program for a Cody Rhodes to work come a WrestleMania, I've seen people throw out there a Randy Orton, but no, 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 no. That's about John Cena versus Randy Orton 236 times, but this one counts, fucker. Some type of career retirement match. Now that is money. Cody Rhodes versus Orton could be good, but not money like that. Cody Rhodes versus CM Punk. That would be money. They got the baggage of AEW, been with WWE before. Like, you could do something with that. You absolutely could. Shit, you could go back to Cody and Seth Rollins if you want to. There are stories to tell there with Cody Rhodes, but the one involving him and Roman Reigns just isn't very good, just isn't very compelling in my opinion. Meanwhile, you've got one of the biggest stars in wrestling history against the biggest star in wrestling today. The thought of them squaring off for the championship in the main event night two WrestleMania 40 in Philly with all the other layers that you can tell to the story. Are you fucking kidding me? To those that are going to say, well, you can't have Rock beat Roman. It's going to be predictable. Do you really think that Cody facing Roman a second time at WrestleMania would result in anything other than Cody winning the title? Like, if anything, I would argue, it makes it less predictable. Because we don't know what type of politics Dwayne is going to fucking pull here. Most people assumed The Rock was going to job out to John Cena at WrestleMania 28 until it didn't happen. You don't fucking know. I'm pretty confident if Cody faces Roman Reigns again at 40, Cody goes over. I think that's a more predictable finish than The Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. You don't fucking know. You don't. As unlikely as it would be, it could happen. Because you've seen it before. You've seen The Rock win when everybody thought he was going to lose. Look, this is not meant to be a shit piece on Cody Rhodes or a hate piece on him. I just called out a couple of different stories that I thought were just better and more interesting for his character, for other characters, for the company, for fans. I can't, I can't imagine. You look at it. Do you want to see Cody versus Roman part two? Or do you want to see the shit we've been talking about for years? One of those rare dream matchups that we just don't get very often that has so many different layers and fucking elements to it. The Rock versus Roman Reigns as the night two main event of WrestleMania 40 has to be the match. That has to be a call. Anything else will be a massive disappointment. And if Dwayne ends up not working WrestleMania 40 and this is not the direction they go, then fuck him forever for getting us even to thought of thinking this could be a possibility. But that's the match. That's the story. Cody Rhodes, there's nothing interesting there. It's got to be Dwayne versus Roman at WrestleMania next year. It just has to be.